welcome everybody welcome to the offensive okay so usually I do the offensive where I'm behind my computer and I point everything out on my laptop but this one got my goat so much that I need to be in front of the camera well the intro Becca, everyone. Yes, I have a bad voice today. Um, reason being, uh, I'm still sick. Um, so you'll have to bear with this horrible voice of mine. But at least I've got one, because, you know, the other day I didn't have one. So, bear with it. Anyway, so today in the offensive, I wanted to talk about this gay marriage plebiscite, which is currently in the courts, and today we'll actually be hit a ruling to see whether we actually have to do this postal referendum that we have to do. And I think it's rude that the Prime Minister has actually done it so that, you know, like the Australian Prime Minister, by the way, if you didn't know I'm Australian, <laughs> but the Australian Prime Minister has not, um, you know, made it an actual definite vote. It's not a legal vote. It was just something that he wanted to see if the Australian public maybe wanted this gay marriage thing and I think that's disgusting. If you're going to spend so much money on pieces of paper being sent to people's um, addresses to vote on something, maybe instead of that, bet people to the polls. Get people to actually vote on something instead of making a plebiscite or referendum for, you know, this. And I am a straight, hetero, cisgender girl, okay? Yes, but I think that gay marriage should be a thing. Um, you know, maybe even trans marriages or, you know, whatever marriages you want, you want. I think that should be a thing. There is this whole, like, church thing with, all oh, the sanctity of marriage. That's fine, churches. You can keep your freaking sanctity of marriage in your freaking churches, okay? But you don't have to include them. They can go and get married however the heck they want. They don't need your church asses to actually um, go get married. They can get unions, much like every other person who is straight, can get unions without the church's permission. And they go, oh, but that's not legally recorded. Yeah, it is. It's recorded in the Australian government. Hello? Um, my parents, for example, they got married, um, <laughs> they're divorced now, but the point is they did get married without a priest or whatever. They got married with a, um, what do you call them? A person. So, you know, that's, that's fine. They didn't get married with a holy person, which is fine, you know, and because my parents were two different religions and they didn't want to mix it up, so they just left it as one thing. And you know what? People can do that. And just what? When gay people get that right, they'll be doing the same thing. Like, they, they just want everything. Like, if they want a miserable marriage like all <laughs> straight people, that's fine. Let them have their miserable marriage. Or let them have a good marriage, depending on how they feel. And you know what? Let them. Just uh, let them. What is your issues and up your butts? Keep your religion and, like, as the Americans say, your religion and state separate, and I, I agree the same thing. Keep your government and your religion fucking separate, okay? Keep it to yourselves, you uptight sons of bitches. The other thing I want to be angry at is 60 Minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, 60 Minutes coming up this Sunday. Oh, I am pissed off. Because they're conservative, conservative, say it right, conservative pieces of rubbish, they want to talk about um, how this boy... Uh, decided he wanted to be female, but then when he's in the middle of transitioning into female, he wanted to go back to being a boy. Now, the whole, uh, when you're a teenager, um, I've learned this from watching trans people, that when you're transitioning in the middle of a teenage, um, like your uh, thing, um, your, your teenage years, when you're taking the hormones, and the hormones will like go to what offshoot you want, like the hormones you're taking and which offshoot you want to go to, like your your X or your Y. So, you know, once it's done, um, it's what some of the trans people who didn't get the teenage years to do, it's called um, gender poisoning. Basically, if people are trans after the teenage years, sometimes they show like different um, facial problems and body problems that show that they are a different 
the sex from what they want to be and they call it gender poisoning and so this kid has got that problem he gender poisoned himself and he hasn't got any male features he has breasts and he has female uh, limbs and so forth and facial features nothing like a male and so he stuck with looking like a female even though he stopped the hormones and tried to go back to being a male and I think the reason that the conservative ultra conservative 60 minutes channel 9 um, have done this is because of the whole plebiscite thing and to throw people under the bus um, basically and show what their views are and trying to sway the vote and I think that's a bit wrong like, I don't mind them having a story like this and it is interesting if you're trans and all of a sudden you decide you don't want to be trans and you want to go back to who you were because you discovered that maybe trans isn't for you um, which can happen which I'm not saying it can't happen I'm saying it can happen and I'm not against that I'm just saying that's cool but showing it in a time where the postal vote is going through the high courts right now which the court decision will be today um, and I don't think that's right to show a story in the middle of a shitstorm that is the LGBTQI community being pissed off with this referendum not being a legal standing thing. It's just a president pretty much sticking a, a little stick in going, are we done yet? Are we good? Are we good? Oh, I don't know. You know, this is pretty much what he's pretty much doing. And as I said, having ultra conservative 60 minutes channel nine doing this at that time, I think is rude. It's absolutely rude and disgusting. And I'm actually for gay marriage. I I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of people online who are actually have friends too who are gay, trans, and uh, bi, and all those things. LGBTQI. I'm all that. I have friends that are that. I also, you know, I'm a straight person, and I am happy with who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a girl, and I'm always going to be a girl. And. But yet, yeah, I'm happy with these people, and I watch these people because I'm fascinated. Um, I don't know what fascinates me about, I say, transgender people, but I do watch them, and I think they're really cool people because they're just ordinary people who were just born wrong. They think that they were born wrong. They were born in their wrong bodies. And that's okay for them to say that. Same with gay marriage. They're okay to say, oh, look, you know, I like females, or I like males if you're a male and you're a female, etc. And they're okay to marry each other, I think. And, um, you know, it's not for me, really, I reckon, to say. It's not for God to say either, because God made us. So, what do you think? He, he made gay people. So, the fact that people are, like, upset about this whole religion thing is just really ticking me off. Like, God made us all. And he made us all equal. But he did make us with different brains. So, different brains, different people, and this is what people think. And it's just let people be people. And stop making people feel unhappy and like self loathing and almost suiciding people. There are people who are gay in this world who don't want to be gay, and so they kill themselves, and it's disgusting. And, you know, I think we should stop shadowing people like this. We should stop hurting these people in this community just let them do what they want to do let people be people because i love um here be on youtube because we love people being people we are happy you know as a community to share our stories because we get to be who we want to be and we get to do it every day and that's like another message i like to put out there for people is you be you and don't let anyone interfere with you being you if you want to be you know you want to be anything you want to be do it I say do it. Just keep doing what you need to do to be you. If you, you know, need to go to school or you need to go and get a gay marriage passed or you need to get something done, just go out there and do it, you know? Um, or you want to be a YouTuber, go get a camera. Go get some lighting equipment. Go do all that stuff. Go get whatever you need to get and become a YouTuber, you know? That's just easy, <laughs> you know? If you want to play a guitar, go get a guitar and go play a guitar, you know? Like, these are the things that make me angry. Like, why aren't people letting people be freaking people? Let them do whatever they want to do. You be getting on being you. And don't and forget about everyone else around you. Just go on with the race, you know? Keep ahead, 
in your own lane. Just do what you need to do. Like, um, I'm trying to be like that stupid actor going, Just do it! Yes, I'm Just do it! Exactly. Just do it. Just do who you are. Be you. So, this is what I'm pretty much saying. That's why I'm for the LGBTQI vote of gay marriage. Let them be who they need to be. They need to be doing this and they need to get married and they need to show they need to be married. I think that's a great thing. But it's not just marriage that they need to prove. They need to prove that they are married so that, you know, in cases of hospital or in cases of um, when someone dies they've got a will and then they can will things to their loved one and significant other and have the same rights as everybody else as a significant other in some terms of law I think that should be a great thing too and that should be passed as a law so you know I don't I think people should have their rights you know when they marry someone there are more rights than you can poke a stick at and gay people should have that because I hear of people where you know, their loved one, a significant one, is dying and they can't even see them because they're not considered family. They're considered a friend, therefore they're not allowed to see their loved one. Or they're not allowed to have rights over their loved one because um, they deflect the parents and do not talk to their lover, spouse, partner. They do not because they're not married and they're not seen as a spouse in hospitals and I think that's disgusting absolutely disgusting. I've heard of cases so many times of this happening and I think it's so wrong and they should have the same rights and as I said they're not just death and willing and things like that. It just, it, those decisions are vital. You talk to your partner about what you want in life if you want a DNR or if you want your organs harvest when you die or um, what you want as a funeral plan um, all those sorts of things, you talk to your partner about this in life so that you, you both are on the same page and the fact that you know sometimes the parents will disagree with the partner and do something different and not do what the person actually wants is a bit harmful as well and not good for healing of someone who is passing so it's not very good um, you know I'm not um, happy about this at all as well for that reason so I think gay people should be able to get married or um, you know trannies should get married to trannies or whatever they should all get married you know and it oh, just gives me pain absolute freaking pain um, so I've written down also the other points on my phone here other points I have about this. The, the other point I wanted to talk about as well was there was an op opposition commercial for gay marriage. This was done by the Conservatives of Australia um, and possibly the Prime Minister because he's a dick. Um, and he pretty much, they put out a commercial with these three women. No men, just three women from different walks of life who were different um, pillars in their communities. So you had a, uh, I think there were two mothers and a doctor. Now you had the mother sitting there going, oh, they said to my son that you know he could wear a dress next year. Is your son trans? No. Okay. So if your son is not trans, then I don't think they would ask him to do that. But. Obviously your son has asked about being trans and you're denying him that right, that sole right of being him. He wants to be him. Obviously he wants to be a girl. Let him be a girl if he wants to be a girl. Don't you dare shove him back in that closet and let him hide. That's disgusting. That's the worst thing you could do as a parent is not let your parent, uh, you let your child be free. Let your child be who they want to be. It's um, self-expression. And let they, you know, it's healthy to have self-expression within like legal limits, obviously. But you, you kid can have le uh, legal self-expression, and it's, you know, wrong of you to sit there and snark at people who said, yeah, no, son, if you want to feel like you want to be a girl, you can wear a dress. Obviously, they've come up and said to him, they don't say that out of the freaking blue. And the fact that this woman is angry, oh, they said that, oh no, you know, I, I, I'm ultra conservative and I don't think that's right. You know, I don't like that at all, but that, that, that bitch is a bitch. And I think that she should, you know, go bury her head in the fucking sand. 
Like seriously, she obviously is in like in church groups and things, obviously. So I'm pretty against that bitch on that ad. The other bitch I'm against is the doctor. The doctor, well, she's a uh, gynecologist, I thought I'd preface this. She turns around and says, but you know, not only if, we lear if we're learning in school to tell children that trans is okay and that trans role play is happening, if this happens, that means overseas, it'll be okay for overseas to see this in Australia and think that, you know, being trans is okay. Of course being trans is okay, but the issue isn't about trans people. Oh no, and gay people. Being in great gay relationships as well and, 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 and all that. No, the, the issue is gay marriage, not gay education. I'm um, sure after this there'll be trans and gay education. Of course there will be. Um, for people out there who are towards this and it's also to show other people to be more sensitive I suppose of other people of what they want they're not just straight relationships out there and that if some people down the road decide they want to be gay or trans and that you know how relationships work by the way I'm sorry about that sound I have people working in my house at the moment I'm sorry um but seriously though you know education is gonna happen and the fact that other countries will take the lead of Australia um, much like that they would in Britain, America, um, or other countries, it's just, mm -mm. you know, this bitch saying this is doctor. Like, I don't think this doctor should have, I'm not saying doctors shouldn't have opinions. I think doctors should have opinions and keep them to themselves, but they have a Hippocratic oath to do no harm to everyone, and then they're allowed to see everyone, and they're not allowed to pick, unless you have your private practice though, but if you, if you don't have a private practice, you don't have to pick and choose of who is going to be what, like you have to like treat the people that come in, and of course, with um, transgender people uh, being a gynecologist they're gonna come to you aren't they you know if they've had just surgery and they want you to look at downstairs at their surgery or maybe even um, the hormones that come to you for hormone therapy um, you know in maybe getting their breast surgery or whatever and you know of people to help these people out you can't say no to them like you're in, 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 the, in the Hippocratic Oath, even in Australia, we have that same oath, do no harm. Meaning, you have to see every patient that comes your way, you can't say no. You can't refuse them unless there are certain there are certain rules that are saying no. But being trans or gay is not one of them, and you being against trans or gay is not one of them. You have to treat them if you like it or not. And for this doctor to have this opinion makes me highly super mad. And, and I think it's disgusting and if you don't if you don't want your children to learn about this they should send send permission slips home so that you can write I don't want my child to do this and I don't want my child to do that which is within your reason you're a parent and you have views that I am totally against but you know you have views and you have your own opinion that's fine you can have your own opinion I just don't like it but still it's your opinion and you can write this to your to the teacher, I don't want them learning this, and you're within your right, and the teachers will pull your son or daughter back and say, yeah, no, I don't want them to learn, um, you know, certain things. But, you know, to come out openly on a commercial that goes to all of Australia and talk about this, it made my blood boil, and I was like, are you serious? You're a doctor. You're a gyno talking about this shit. You need to calm the fuck down. Seriously, you are a fucking tart. Like, I just got so mad and I was like on the bandwagon with all the people that harassed her, the people that wanted to firebomb her house. This is true. And, um, it's... I don't want to firebomb her house. I wouldn't go that far. I was kind of angry, but I wasn't going to be that angry. But if I saw her on the street, like, she's in uh, Adelaide, I believe. But if I saw her on the street, I, yeah, yeah, I would full go up and like tell her to her face, you are a stupid bitch. Like, let people be people. Like, what is your fucking, like, what's up there? Like, honestly, if you're a doctor and you think that way, like, I really don't want to see you. I would rather see a doctor who is, you know, 
into everybody, not just one um, sort of sanctity of marriage bullshit, sanctity of education, and we should keep it all clean, and that it's some seen as some sort of pedophilic thing. I'm getting tired of, you know, people seeing this as a sexual deviancy when that is not the case. You know, um, you know, they're not having sex outside. They're not, you know, effing in front of you. No, they're not fucking in front of you, are they? No, they're not. They are just displaying their love like everyone else displays it. They hold hands, they kiss, they cuddle. Everyone does it. You know, everyone's got their PDA. And let them have their PDA, you know? Like, if you have a problem with it, just walk away and don't look at it. Just keep walking. It's not your problem and it's not for you to go up and tell people, you know, shit. And this is what she's seeing. She's seeing that you know, we shouldn't teach children this, that it's going to warp their mind, it's a sexual deviancy, it's, you know, what makes, you know, it's going to turn our children into freaks. <laughs> this is how I feel. It is really bad. So, you know, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. But I'm just super mad at this and it just blows my mind. Like, seriously? Oh, and the other point which I'm going to point out is that the other thing that made me mad about this whole controversy is um, that there was this gay couple I saw on TV and I thought, yeah, you know, a gay couple talking for, which we have ads about the four and, um, and I thought, oh, this gay couple are going to say something positive on the news about um, this. Oh, boom now. What do you reckon they said? They are a gay couple, these two men, who were against the same-sex plebiscite. I'm sorry, you're gay and you're against gay marriage. What the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously, how can you be against gay marriage? You are yourself gay. Fucking seriously? Like, LGBTQI people, go and slap these two motherfuckers in the head. Seriously? Um, I saw this and I was just m m angry and I wanted to see what their view was. So I watched this news program about these two fellas. And apparently, these fellas have been together 20 years. And they had Christian parents and their parents, you know, were religious, etc, etc. But their view was that they didn't want gay marriage because they wanted the sanctity of a man and a woman to stay marriage as man and a woman and they agreed with all the straight uh, conservatives out there about men and women just being men and women getting married and that gay people can't get married I'm like why though? Why? Why this? Like really why? Like I don't get it don't you guys want to get married? Like, I know they've had a union ceremony and they were happy with the union ceremony even though they can't show that they are married and that they are together other than the usual, you know, going to dinner and seeing each other, holding hands, etc. Um, but they have no rights to each other and things like that and they don't think of this and yet they, they want to keep the sanctity of marriage as a man and a woman. Are you fucking dense? Like, I get it, okay? I get it. Like, one of these days, like, I don't like marriage. I never want to get married to somebody. Um, but if I was going to get married to someone, of course, I'm a woman. I want to get married to a man. But I still believe gay people should get married too. Let them be who they want to be. It's none of my business to let them not be who they want to be, you know? If they want to be gay, let them be gay. If they want to trans, let them be trans. If you want to be bi, let them be bi.
what your um, if you're on the Australian plebiscite um, slash referendum thing, what side are you on and why? Don't sit there and tell me about church crap because I don't I want to hear about that. And sympathy of men and women. F off. Tell me the real reason. Um, but also tell me oh no, like what side you're on, what the other side that you're on. Um, maybe even give me insight into this doctor bitch, this parent bitch, and these two gay guys who just can't get it straight. So tell me what your opinion is on this. Um, what on um, this referendum? Um, what you feel about it? Is it is the High Court rule that this was an illegal thing, or the High Court rule that yes, it will go ahead, it will be in place in the mail, um, and then it's not disgusting. What is the out- what's the outcome? Can you tell me what you think your opinion would be about what the outcome might be for the High Court ruling this afternoon? So. Some straight people um, have to vote on someone else's lifestyle. I think it's disgusting, and that we have to throw our opinions at something that shouldn't be ours in the first place. So, yeah, that's my sort of take back on it. But I'm for it. I'm, I'm super for it. I'm super super for people to be people. People let them do what they need to be because. Well, it makes them happy. Whatever makes people happy, I'm happy. So, comment below, like, subscribe if you want to keep seeing me. Hit that little bell so that you can keep seeing me and you get a little notification saying, hey, come see, come see her and we can talk about this and have this big conversation about things. But next time I'll probably be behind my computer again, but this, this time I just needed to really get it out there and, and talk to you face to face because it was something that needed to be said. Anyway, this is the offensive. Be as offensive as be as offensive as you need to be. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.